Now, based on the question that Charles asked, um, I'm just gonna share the screen now and explain these things. Now, if I go to my other page here, and I scroll down here to take any trade, I, let's say I wanna check trade. Some of this trade has been running for over two weeks right now. Some of the trade you are seeing has been running for over two weeks right now. And you know, as you can see, with all of the trades that I have opened here, you can see the number of trades that I have. Uh, if you turn this thing, it's more than 20 uh, trades or there about uh, 20 tokens or there about. So if you go ahead and count this thing, it's more than 20. That, that is a trade that I'm currently running. Now, one thing I want you to note is this. Some of these trades are showing minus 3%, minus 0.6%, um, minus 1%, minus 2%, and minus 11%, and so on. Now, because some of these trades are still running, added to the profit that you have made, if you take your balance on your exchange, your balance will not be accurate because you still have some tokens. Remember that the exchange gives you a total balance of what you have. You still have some trades that are running. I explained this in the former, in, in, in our previous meeting. So to go further to explain this, let me just open up a trade here. Based on the question you asked, let me go ahead and, um, and say, okay, I want to trade uh, which token, this, this one actually sold that. Um, let's say I want to trade Solana. I'll go ahead and open up that particular token. Now, when I open this token, I'll go to the setting icon and click on it. Now, when I click on this setting icon, whenever I send out a signal, just like the one you received this evening, that signal for the three tokens that you received this evening uh, can last for a week, two, or even up to a month. The signal can last for as long as you know we still see an opportunity in the market. Now, one thing you want to understand, let me get my marker so that you'll be able to get that. One thing you want to understand here is the difference between single mode and the circle mode. This is where I want you to pay attention to. If you understand how this, the difference between these two here, the single mode and the circle mode, you should be able to manage your trade effectively. Now, for every signal that I send out, I gave you the first purchase amount, which is this. By default, what you see here is 15 USDT. So if I say use 20, use 30, that is what you are going to put here in place of the 15 that is here. So when the, then the mode, I will say circle mode. Circle mode means that when you carry out this trade, for, for instance, um, the settings I have here is for Solana. If I go ahead and trade Solana, it means when I'm using circle mode that I'm telling this trade that after you, you end, it, it, the trade get, gets to 1%, and you sell automatically buy again for me and wait for it to increase by 1% again and sell. That is what simply the instruction I'm giving to this board using circle mode. So the board keep buying for you and selling. And the reason for using circle mode is because you may be busy. Within a short period of time, this board can trade for like 10 times in a particular token. This is something you cannot be there to monitor always. This is where the automatic aspect of using this board is when you use circle mode. But when you use single mode and this circle mode, sorry, this circle mode is what controls every other thing that you see here. The circle mode is what controls the other quantity here. It is the circle mode that controls the first cover, the second cover, the third cover, the fifth cover, up to the seventh cover. It is that circle mode that controls all of this thing because the circle mode is simply saying that okay, why I'm holding and buying and holding this coin to, to, to make profit for you. If for any reason the coin keep dropping, that is when you now have that 3%, 6%, 9% and so on. So if we go ahead and say, okay, we want to change the other quantity from seven to five, which is normally what you see on the signals that I sent out. And then we want to make it circle mode, go ahead and select circle mode. Then we want to make the take profit as 1%. We want to make the earning callback as 0.1 and we leave the callback for margin calls as, as, as you know by default. Then we will go ahead and check this uh, icon here that says open position double. We'll go ahead and check it. Once we check this, this is what happened. You see that all of the positions here 
they cover up multi, uh, multiples or there are cover up multiples have you know increased. So this will increase by two, this will increase by two, this will increase by two, and it goes on and on and on like that. So what is happening here is that because you are using cover mode, circle mode, sorry, because you are using circle mode, when you come down here to the first cover, what I send on the signal is that you change this two to three, and then change this three to six, change this other one to nine, and then the next one to 12, and then the last one to 15, because we are using five, uh, five times as the other quantity. Now, what we are simply saying is that if for any reason this coin starts reversing, let's say we enter the market, instead of going forward and making profit for us, the market starts reversing. It will be dropping, and what you are seeing, just like you saw now, well, minus 1%, minus 2%, and so on, if it drops that way until it gets up to 3%, if it gets up to 3%, we want to buy the dip. And what is the instruction we are giving the board? The board should buy two times. When this coin drops by 3%, then if it start increasing again, I will make 1% bonus. It would have not, the board, what would the board would not do is sell the two times that it has bought here and, you know, equally sell, that is the two times it has bought here. If the first purchase amount is 15 USDT, If the first purchase amount is 15, or let's say 30, just like I sent on the uh, uh, signal this evening, if the first purchase amount is 30, and then we come in here to say, if for any reason this market start dropping by 3%, we want to buy two times, which is this, which is what you are seeing here, we want to buy two times. Now, when it drops by, by, by 3% here, we want to buy two times. Buying two times means that already we have purchased 30, um, we have purchased this coin worth 30 USDT. So if it draws by 3% and it buys at, at two times, two times will mean 30 into two places, which is 60 USDT added to the first one. That is, um, that should be 90 USDT. So let's say if you are trading with uh, 100 USDT, if 100 USDT is your account, it means that you cannot trade up to, and you want to circle your trade with 100 USDT and the first purchase amount as 30 USDT, you cannot circle up to um, this fifth order or this fifth uh, five times that we are sending you. Because if for any reason the coin continues to drop by 6%, you'll be having USDT error because you don't have enough funds in your account to buy the dip. You don't have enough funds in your account to buy the dip. So it means for you to be able to buy the dip when this particular token drops by 6%, you need to have, this is um, the first one is 30, this one is going to be 60. Then you need to have additional um, 30 by four, which is 120 to be able to buy when it drops by 6%. And then if it goes ahead and drop by 9%, you want to buy eight times. It means that you have 60 here, you have 120 here, 120 by two, this is 240. So you need, it means that you need to have additional 240 USDT in your balance to be able to buy the dip if this particular token drops by 6%. So these are all what this is. It means whatever this is, is it, what it simply means is that you can trade this for as long as you have enough balance in your account to cover off all of this position. One thing I've noted is that a lot of person with just 100 USDT, they keep you know, trading every signal that you see there. Understand this. If I am having $100 in my account and I'm putting first purchase price as 30, when I put 30 here, 30 has been reduced from my $100. It means that I now have 70 USDT remaining. If I go ahead and put only of my trade on circle mode, if I put it on circle mode, and then the price of that particular token keeps dropping down, it means that what I'm simply saying, I'm automatically instructing this board that when it drops by 3% or to 6%, it should buy more. When it drops by 3%, because I have this double position check, because I have this double position check, when this particular token drops by 3%, I am simply instructing the board to buy two times. Two times will now mean $30 by two, which is $60. And remember that you are having just $70 remaining. So it means you can only go the first cover. You cannot go the second cover. That is with the 100 USDT. And this is what you allocate to every token you have. If you're have, you having a, a, a $3,000 or thereabouts, 
what we are simply saying is that if this token should drop by 15%, let me scroll down here. If it should drop, the last one is supposed to be 15% here. Yeah. Let me change it to 15. The last one here is supposed to be 15%. So when it drops by 15% here, we are telling the board to buy, when this token drops by 15%, we are telling the board to buy 32 times. 32 times will now mean 30 by 32. If I go ahead and open up my, um, sorry. Let me go ahead and open up my calculator. So 30, 30 USDT here by 32, it means that for trading just one token, for trading one just token, and you want to put it on circle mode, you need to have 960 USDT to be able to trade one token. Now, if you want to put it as a default um, uh, uh, first project amount, which is 15 USDT, it means that for trading one just one token, you need to have 480 USDT. 480 USDT to be able to trade one token. That is what you dedicate to one token. So if I'm trading two, I should have 400 uh, at $15 as the first purchase amount. I should have 480 by two. If I'm trading three, I should have 480 by, by, uh, by three and so on. That is how it goes. So what I simply um, advise those who don't have enough funds to you know, carry up this cover because definitely the crypto market will drop. And that is why it is said that crypto market, cryptocurrency is a volatile, the market is a very volatile. Definitely the market will drop. And that is exactly what you are seeing here. In all of the trades that I open, it is not all the trades that are showing um, green. The first one is showing green. The, all these other ones are showing minus this, minus that. All, you see all of these trades. All of them are showing minus this. And showing minus this, if I open up Atom, now Atom is holding my money. And because it is showing minus 1.9%, it means that this $210 that this atom is holding right here, the $210 that this atom is holding right here, it means that I am, if I close this trade right now, I am you know, going to close it at loss because it is showing minus 10%. So atom current price right now is this, but it needs to get to 36 70 cents for me to be able to make profit. And because this particular coin, the board is still holding this coin, my balance will not be complete. If I go back to, to my account here and show you my income, let me go to the home page. And then if I click on income, as you can see here, the board is saying that so far I have made 430 USDT since this account was activated. This 430 USDT, if I go to my account and I said I started this account with $3,000, by default, I should be having $3,430 in my exchange. But when I go to my exchange, it will not be complete. It will not be up to 400, 3,430. Reasons being that the board has allocated some of this coin to itself. You can see the number of tokens that I'm trading here. It has allocated some of my money to this token. So until these tokens are sold out, my balance will not be accurate. Until these tokens are sold out, my balance will not be accurate. But it doesn't mean that I, I don't have that 3,000. So that is why you will need to come in here and set up most of this trade to single mode so that when it sells out, when it finishes selling out, you have the accurate balance in USDT on your exchange. That is one thing I want you to understand. But if you are using a little amount and you don't want to, you know, use circle all you can just do is manually uh, control this board and how to do that is if i come here to the order let's say you want to carry out trade you have 100 usdt and each trade you want to carry out is 30 you want to allocate 30 usdt to it um let me go to a trade that is not currently running if i come in here to let's say i want to open this crv here and i go to setting what i simply do is if i change this here to 30 usdt out of my hundred dollars, out of my hundred USDT, I'll be left with um, with ninety. After thirty is deducted, I'll be left with seventy. Sorry, I'll be left with seventy. So I'll go ahead and use single mode. I'll go ahead and, and use single mode. And using single mode will mean that once this is sold, it automatically end the trade. Then I'll go another one. 
So what that simply means is that with $100, I can trade up to four tokens using single mode. So you manually do this. Then when it stops, you come back again and activate the trade. When it stops, you come back again and activate. The disadvantage is here is that, let's say you were away for one hour, for two hours, or for the whole day. If this board was to, that particular token was to be, uh, to, was on the increase, you know, was on the high side, if the particular token sells like 10 times without you being there, since you put it on a single mode, you only sell one and you only take profit of one. And remember the profit is 1%, 1% of $30 is what you would have made. And if you have automated it by using circle mode, it would have sold like 10 times or 32 times because being a way, this particular token can increase like 10%, 20% or even 50% at a go. So if you, don't, if you are not there to monitor it and you're doing a single, single, then you will lose that because being a way, I, I showed you guys here um, yesterday of how within just a few minutes, this token was able to sell uh, Shiba Inu for like eight times at a go. So if you are not there, you will miss out on that particular um, uh, pro uh, process. But if you want to manually do this, you can just do it. Whenever it sells, you come back and activate again. Whenever it sells, you come back and activate again. That is, I, I believe I'm, I'm, I've, been, I've, I've taken too much time on this, I believe this is understandable enough um, for Charles. Okay, I, I, I get you actually uh, followed up. So for any other person, uh, any other person who didn't understand what I explained now, please, you can just um, ask questions and I'll go ahead and explain this better. Uh, okay, I believe we all understood that. So if you don't understand in detail everything I've explained now, you can now ask your question and I will throw more light on that before we go into looking at uh, the trading view as I promised today. Um, and if you're a new person here, you still don't understand everything I've explained, please kindly ask your question and I will, and I will you know, just raise your hand, ask your question and I will explain everything in details again. It is as we all understood this. Now, uh, somebody said since he had paid 50 USDT and uh, he, he doesn't even understand, he or she doesn't even understand what is going on. Now, let me explain here. If you are here or if you are like that person and you are here, using this board, when it comes to cryptocurrency, investing in crypto, there are several ways you go about it. And one of the way we go into crypto investment is trading trading if you know about forest trading if you know about you know um stock trading and so on that is exactly what we do with the cryptocurrency trading and for those who have been in forest um trading space it is somewhat difficult actually making profit you might see a lot of person sharing screen of profit they have made and stuff like that i have tried that forest myself and if i compare it to cryptocurrency trading i would say uh, I'll advise anybody that it is better to start with crypto because it is easier to make money trading crypto than doing forex. This is something I have, you know, tried. I tried forex trading when I was in school. I saw somebody who was always sitting on the, at the cafe and I like what he was doing. He told me he makes 20,000 a day or even more trading forex. And I decided to learn forex trading. But unfortunately for me, when I started trading, I don't know whether I was not doing it right or thereabout. I keep losing money. I will make money and I'll be very happy. And at the next day, I want to put in the money to make more money. Before you know it, I'll lose everything. So it was actually a lot, but I never gave up because at some point I actually make some profit. You know, some points I just lose everything and stuff like that. It was actually, it, it actually gave me some entrance into crypto trading. But when I came into crypto trading, I saw that it was actually easier to make money with crypto than doing that with forex. Forex is both ways. You bet whether the market is going up. If it goes in your favor, you make money. You bet whether it is going down. If it goes in your favor, you make money. If it goes against you, you lose money. And there is another type of trading in the crypto space that looks like forex. And that is what we call derivative. Under derivative, we have features, we have perpetual swap, we have options, and some other gaming as a type of uh, trading that is implemented on any exchange that you're using. So if you go with features, as a beginner, you will lose a lot of money. The safest way to trade crypto is spot trading. And doing spot trading means that you need to have some technical skills to analyze the chart, you know, to be able to follow up the trend, to know when the market is, an, is in an uptrend and when it is in a downtrend. You need to know when to buy, to take profit and when to stop loss. You need to have a strategy to be able to trade this market. 
the fact that it is buying low and selling high doesn't mean that you can just come in and buy low and then you expect that you sell high. There are some tokens you will buy low and before you know it, it will go lower. Before you know it, it will go lowest. And if there is any other thing that is more than lowest, I, I you use it, maybe lowest, lowest or something. So that is how it works, but you need to understand all of these tricks to be able to make profit from the market. And that is when this board, prime board of, of, of a thing that we are using now comes in. Because with prime board, majorly they work with two major exchanges like Binance and Huobi exchange. Because when you want to carry out crypto trading, you do it on Binance, you do it on Huobi and other exchanges that you have out there. But with this board, you don't really need to know how to do technical analysis. You don't really need to know how to read charts. You don't need to know when the market is for or have a strategy. All you just need to do is to understand how to customize a board and get started. And activating this board for a year will cost you $150 to activate it, which I'm doing right now for everybody who wants to activate it at $50 because the company has given me that privilege to do that. And one or two persons who have signed up for the affiliate program, I have upgraded, they have received the 5,000 points as promised and I have upgraded the account to the gold level as promised. So that is a privilege the company has given to me and I'm sharing it with you. This may not last forever. And aside the affiliate program, when you activate the board, it does not automatically start making money for you. The next thing you want to do is to go ahead and bind your board via API. Let me go back to the homepage. You go ahead and bind this board using what is called API binding. With the API, you are simply giving the board permission to start doing trading on your Binance or on your Ruby exchange. And before this board can start trading, after binding it, you need to have some funds in your exchange on Binance or Huobi exchange. You need to have some funds there that you want to start trading. It is only when you have that funds, you can then take those signals that I'm sending that they bought. And when you start taking those signals, this is what you'll be seeing on your account. You'll be seeing trades like this. You know, some of these trades that are showing minus, some are showing plus and so on. You'll be seeing trades like this in your account. And whenever it goes in profit, you make money. Whenever it is going minus this percentage, you just leave the board to do its things. The board will hold this position until when that particular asset goes in your favor or start going up, and then the board will sell and take profit for you. So that is what we will say. Instead of studying how to do this, studying how to do that, you can just leverage on this board, fund the, the account, and the board start trading for you. And another good thing for those of you who have been scammed in one way or the other online, Another good thing with the board is that the board does not have access to your funds. Your funds are safe with you in your exchange. I believe this, under, this explanation is enough to get you started, even if you are just starting today. 